Falcons are hosting the Steelers. Falcons favored by one over under is 42. What are your thoughts on this one? Uh, I'm taking Pittsburgh here. I, I think they've been on a little bit of a roll. Um, got stymied a little bit in the second half against Indianapolis, but found a way to kind of pull that out. Najee says he's playing fingers crossed. Um, we'll see how that continues to shake out probably tomorrow. So, you know, make sure you have your Jalen Warren, you know, handcuff ready to go in case he can't. Um, but I like the way Pittsburgh's been playing. So I'm going to take them, but I'm going to take the over. I don't think that there's going to be quite so much defense that we're looking at a 20 to 21 type game. I think it's more uh, probably 21, 24, something like that. Like I do think we get some offense out of this game. Atlanta's kind of been the thorn in the side, right? Like they're not a pushover, but they're not great enough to be, you know, kind of consistent. I guess that speaks to their five and seven record. Um, but th they've kind of been, sputtering here lately we'll see if we can find some more offensive passing game out of atlanta the running game's been on point we need some passing to go along here um but either way it should be a pretty good game i think that we're going to see a lot of rushing yards this game but kenny pickett um continues to get more comfortable and i like i like what i'm seeing in his development like i think as long as the progression continues to happen i think we have a very serviceable professional quarterback i don't know if he's going to be elite but i think he's going to be very serviceable uh, he he absolutely could develop in that Derek carr type of type mm -hmm. of deal where he kind of gets you know middle of the pack um you know better than the replacement type of guy that you could bring in like i, I yeah. think that's probably where we're going to see him project to and, and tr uh, his trajectory take him and, and and really that's what roethlisberger was right like right? roethlisberger was never he had a couple elite. of really good seasons but he was clutch roethlisberger mm -hmm. was clutch had a couple of good seasons and he played to the strengths of that team yep well if tomlin can build kenny pickett into the same thing uh, they're set they don't need him to be patrick mahomes that's right. not how that city likes to see football. They want to see the steel curtain. They want to see big bruising defensive plays and they want to beat the Baltimore Ravens into the ground. Right. Like mm -hmm. they, they don't need the showtime numbers. They know that they got to win ugly because the, the wins at that at, was it Heinz field mm -hmm. it, are, are, are crazy. Right. So they, they grind me out and that's okay because that's what every player there expects to do. Here's kind of a crazy thing. The the Steelers are still in a point where they could pull this thing out and Mike Tomlin could still, you know, have like 16 seasons without a losing record. Like they're they're still within that on this thing. I don't think they're going to do it, but it is still a mathematical possibility at this point. Is there a coach in the NFL who doesn't who who doesn't get the love that they deserve more than Mike Tomlin? Right. Like you you talk about a guy that just kind of overlooked uh, and part of that, I think, has to do with the fact of the era that he plays in, right? Like, uh, they, they play a very heavy defensive de defensive deal. Like, that's that's how that team's built. Uh, you know, he's he's playing in the same era as Belichick, who's been there around roughly, you know, you know, about the same time frame, um, but has seven Super Bowls to show for it. And in a league that is so offensive minded and so, you know. The uh, the Shanahan's, the Lafleur's, the McVeigh's, like they get the the attention on that one. The Andy Reeds get the attention on that one far more than you know Tomlin, who just kind of grinds it out. But you know, very impressive Hall of Fame caliber uh, coach and, and resume that he's putting together there. Yeah, I, I hope to see a thirty for thirty on the Killer Bees one day. Yeah, that would be a like, good one. I would really like to see and understand how Mike Tomlin kept that group of personalities together mm -hmm. between AB and Le'Veon Bell and Ben Roethlisberger when he was not necessarily making the greatest decisions off the field and and the job that Mike Tomlin did because I would be absolutely fascinated to get accounts and recounts of the locker rooms and what what actually was going on there and how Tomlin did such a great job because he will never get enough credit for keeping everybody happy in that locker room for, for those, what, four, five, six seasons where they were all together. All right. Um, so I, I, I like where you're going with that, with the, the Steelers, all of that. Uh, this is an interesting one, right? When you look at some of these things and some of the trends and some of the splits, Atlanta four and two at home this season. 
um, and straight up win loss record, right? They're actually, you know, getting a point here is very tempting when you look at that thing because the Steelers are two and four on the road, right? So this is one of those that you look at some of these things, you look at that home road split and you go, oh man, like this is a, yeah, Atlanta, Atlanta tends to win at home. The Steelers don't play well on the road. Let you lean that way. I'm taking the Steelers though, because the two and four, those two wins out of the Steelers were with TJ Watt in the lineup. All four of those losses came without TJ Watt in there. And the Steelers overall are a, have an amazing win record with TJ Watt in the lineup. He's going to play. I'm taking Pittsburgh to win this thing. I do like the over on this one. You hit it. You hit the nail on the head earlier. Like I, I don't see this being a defensive struggle. Atlanta does enough to keep points up and keep things going. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to do that as well. I see this being a mid twenty score game for both teams putting that up. I, I think we're closer to fifty than we are to forty on this one. So I'm going to take the over prop. I really like Deontay Johnson under fifty five and a half receiving yards. Yeah, and to kind of go along with that, I have George Pickens over three and a half receptions. Kenny Pickett loves looking his way. Typically, you get one kind of acrobatic catch. But, again, another young player for that team that just continues to develop for him. So, I think he sees four or more. 